Hey guys, just wanted to share with you guys my very first project here as a 15 year old kid. Um, this uh, 76 to 78 model XC Falcon, Fairmont I should say, and I'm around 15 years of age here. And purchased this thing as a bit of a project, my first ever project. And it had some bumps and bruises um, around the bodywork and it came with a stock Cleveland Power 302 or 351, I can't remember now, but that was um, tossed out and sold off. And uh, I, I uh, built my first 2V headed uh, Cleveland 351, um, hydraulic cammed, close chamber 302 heads, 2V heads, 10 2 to 1 compression, very baby hydraulic cam next next size up from a stock cam i would say it was like a mid-range down low type of cam that redlined at five grand so um there wasn't much in it heads were slightly ported uh had you know roller rockers you can see there i can't remember what roller rockers they were if they were early version bolt down t and d or epd roller rockers but yeah it had an edelbrock performer intake um, one inch spacer, dual point distributor, and uh, 750 vac secondary holly carb. And this thing punched out 250 rear wheel horsepower. It was top loader manual, so it was top loader backed. And you know, it was probably making um, 350 flywheel horsepower, I'd say, which is pretty good for you know something that worked only up to about 5,000 RPM. But I eventually did the bodywork on this car. Um, you know, got everything straight and, and we re-sprayed it. Um, you know, top loader, nine inch. And it remained only with 275 rear gears uh, for most of the time I owned it. I know they were highway rear gears. It ran um, mid 14s uh, at 97 mile an hour, uh, crossing the line at the end of third gear. To be honest, yeah, I never did fit um, rear gears to it uh, until later, and I never raced it like that. But I did put three fives in the rear end towards the end of its life, and um, I tell you now, it woke it up. You would just side side clutch, you would just sidestep it, and it'll light up third gear. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it was a bit of an animal when I swapped out those rear gears, but. Um, it was a little bit overkill too with only the, the motor working to 5,000 RPM. It, it still was um, a high river, you know, like on the highway, punting along in fourth gear. But yeah, it ran mid 14s with the 275 rear gears. And I enjoyed this car. We had some good times with this thing. And you can see there that's with the car being repaired and re sprayed. That's the two video gauges that I've done a bit of a story on those vintage gauges hanging outside there, had a bit of a street scoop on there. Um, the interior got swapped out for black velour interior. And you know, it was a pretty cool car, not bad, not bad for high school, you know. Um, bit of a burnout machine as well. And yeah, and you know, it was probably an honest 350 uh, flywheel horsepower deal that, um, you know, Got up, it went okay, you know. Um, not too bad for a high school kid, like I said. But this is the, the same Cleveland eventually that I'll rebuild, and that ended up being my um, my badass 2V combination. That I'll do another video after this, but yeah, that's my very first 2V powered 351 Cleveland. And you know, um, I've lost some footage over, you know. Uh, over the time with this car being raced I, I did have some footages um of this car running you know into the mid 14s from the back end recorded and eventually that footage just couldn't be transferred it was just all heavily damaged and and didn't come out so i'm a little bit gut wrenched at that but yeah i'm just showing a supercharged cleveland xc here also because you know i just remember drawing growing up you know in high school early high school i'll say even public school real early i always remember drawing these falcons with the supercharger out the bonnet and it's just funny you know that i eventually built one of these cars and i eventually built a supercharged cleveland also so yeah anyway just thought i'll share my very first early 2v cleveland powered ford that i did as a kid